Open up the window. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a dying ember. Friday, October the 6th, 2023. It is the Thanksgiving weekend and we are heading off to Rockwood Conservation Area. We're Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season five of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now let's go camping with the Coles. Now we only get one life We have some special guests with us today. If you look in the back seat, we got our youngest daughter, Allie. Allie and hey. Jax. And then of course Kingston. we have Kingston. Uh, Kingston hasn't been, been with us on a camping trip for a while. So yeah. it's nice to have him coming along with us. <clears throat> so we have some helpers and the uh, rest of the crew I think is coming tomorrow yeah. for our dinner. This is a nice quick drive. It's only like 35 kilometers from our home to get there. So this is awesome. I can't wait makes it easier for the others to attend. Looking forward to it. Weather's kind of like up and down, rainy, cold, sunny. But as always, we always make the best of it. We do. It's so, always fun camping. We have we another have... special guest. Please. Last year, we asked you guys to pick a name for him. And a lot of you sent in names and we decided to go with the name Gordy, because he's a Gord. Lots of good names though. Yeah. <laughs> So Gordy's coming with us on this Thanksgiving weekend. Let's just put mm -hmm. him in place. There he is. Yeah. Let's go, Gordy. Conservation Area is part of the Grand River Conservation Authority. It is in the town of Rockwood along the Aramosa River that is formed into the Rockwood Reservoir. The park is open year-round with camping permitted May 1st to October 15th. And this is us, site number 65, Maple Lane Campground at Rockwood Conservation Area. We got the end site, so from the front of our trailer there's uh, nobody in our view. Uh, we've got a nice big site. It was nice and flat, easy to pull into, well shaded, and we are looking forward to a great Thanksgiving weekend. There are three campgrounds. Pineview Campground has 46 water and electric sites. Maple Lane Campground has 16 water, electric, and sewage sites. Cedar Valley Campground has 43 non-service sites. Sites 175 to 199 are radio free. There are four group campsites for youth groups. There are two comfort stations with flush toilets and showers in Pineview Campground and Cedar Valley Campground, and one comfort station with just toilets in the pavilion area. There is a dump fill station. There is a children's playground and a baseball diamond as well as mini golf. There is a beach. There are two canoe kayak launches, one at the left end of the beach and one at the Harris Mill ruins. There are two trails. Pothole Trail is a 1.3 kilometer linear trail and the Cedar Ridge Trail, which is a 1.7 kilometer linear trail. The two trails can be combined to form a three kilometer loop. Then there's the Harris Woolen Mill Ruins, a popular spot for wedding photography, advertisements and movies. It is temporarily closed due to structural issues. Let's check out the park.
there are four group campsites in the park. They are along the roadway, which is right here. Uh, they all have picnic tables, a fire pit. They hold five to 10 units each, tents only. They are not electric. There are two vault toilets to share and two water taps to share amongst them all. There are three comfort stations, one in Pine View, one in Cedar Valley, and one at the pavilion at the beach. The ones in the two campgrounds are flush toilets and showers. The one at the pavilion is just toilets only. There are no laundry facilities. There's one dump station. It's in Pine View Campground right behind the comfort station. It has one dump spot and it has a threaded hose. The parking lot to the Harris Mill ruins is the parking for the boat launch, which is a canoe kayak launch. There's no motorboats permitted. And it's a little bit of a picnic area. There are canoe and kayak rentals for $22 per hour at the beach. There's fishing for carp, bullhead, small and largemouth bass in the reservoir. In the spring, the reservoir is stocked with brown and rainbow trout. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Behind me are the ruins to the Harris Woolen Mill. The mill started in 1867. Um, it then burnt to the ground as a wooden structure then. And in 1884, uh, when it burnt to the ground, they rebuilt it. It's built with limestone. Built a lot of uniforms for the soldiers in the First World War. Uh, in 1933, it closed down for good. A couple decades later, it became part of the Rockwood Conservation Area. And in 1967, the rest of it burned down and all that's left are these ruins. Last time we were at this park, we were able to go through and the ruins were a great spot. People took wedding pictures there. There's some movies that were done here, a lot of ads that were done here. But apparently last year they found some structural integrity issues. Who'd have thought? They're ruins. So they closed it all off. They don't say if it's indefinite or not. So hopefully they do reopen them again because it is really nice to go in and have a look. It's Cheryl's Lou Review, Lou Review, let's all talk about Lou's. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl, Cheryl's Lou Review. Being such a small park, there isn't really any vault toilets throughout, except for the two in the group campsite area. There are the two Porta Johns by the ruins. Um, those are a little bit nicer than these. These are just basic pick toilets with hand sanitizer. There's no light or trash or running water. It smells a little bit strong in these fellas. And they, I don't think they're being used much. Um, I think I'll give these guys a bolt of flour. Hey there, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for that special camping someone on your list, then we have just the thing for you. Camping with the Coles merch. We have men's, ladies, unisex, and youth clothing. We have Crew neck tees, V neck tees, sweatshirts, sweatpants, zip up hoodies, pullover hoodies, ball caps, and especially for this season, toques. We've also added a new style ball cap. Our original ball caps are made of 100% cotton twill, and we now have our new ball caps, which are made of polyester ripstop mesh to help keep you cool on those long hikes. You have the option of getting any of this clothing in a variety of colors, and with either the trailer logo or the tent logo, you can show off the style of camping that you're into. From today, October 28, 2023, until the end of November 2023, we are offering a special discount code for you. Coles15 is the discount code, and you can get 15% off your entire purchase site-wide. 
all this great Camping with the Coles merch at a special discount price for Christmas. Head on over to campingwiththecoles.ca and click on merch or click on the link in the description below this video. We can't wait to see you out there in the wild in your Camping with the Coles clothing. Since I was a little child. He'd even play 18 rounds of mini golf here. It's five dollars for adults and three dollars for kids under the age of 15. Just go to the gatehouse to pick up your equipment. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Okay. I'll record you going in. Still <laughs> I can see your feet back there. Ew, my hair's dry. Uh, it gets tighter. <laughs> it's tighter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I can keep going. Say hi, Allison. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this headlamp is too good. Know where to go down there? It's, it's too tight. Turn me. Oh my god, you were so wet. <laughs> yeah. It's a little muddy. It's so shiny in here because of all the frost on the walls. Um. Wait, is that the way yet? Yeah. Oh, if you're going up, then yes. Let us know when you're all the way through, then we'll come because it's pretty tight. and wet and muddy yeah so really you, you you go through this cave here yes 
and you go, you have to crawl. Yeah, you have to lie down and pull yourself forward. And then how big is it on the other side? You crouch around. It's like, you can cr- like. Good but you can't crouch. stand. No. If you're, if you're my size, five feet, you can stand like this in some spots. Okay. You can go like this. But and you couldn't find a spot out from there to continue. No, we went down a few different paths, yeah. but there wasn't really anywhere that, that wasn't Yeah, there were like this. three other paths, but then they all went to like this size and you can't fit through there. Uh, okay. I was so just nice. gonna ask you, is that I'm just Celia? wearing camping with the coals. <laughs> camping with the coals, people. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, our Thanksgiving went a little bit off the rails. The rain has really started to come down now. But you know what? We're still optimistic. We've got the fire still going. We're gonna bring the chairs out as soon as it stops raining and we're gonna warm up by the fire. Right now, it's time for dessert. Pumpkin pie, pecan pie, and apple pie. So what do we have, Karen? Um, pumpkin, pecan, and apple. And what are the both whipped creams? There's regular whipped cream and coconut whipped cream. They're both moving. I was moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the kitties made it. So we had Amy and Eric over here. They made it for dinner, <laughs> and it's late and it's wet. Yeah. And they're going home. As always. And Brian, he came too, and he's going to be taking Allie and uh, Kingston, Kingston home. Kingston home, yes. So then it'll just be me, you, and Jax. Yeah. The usual. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for, <laughs> Thanks for dinner. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> The Pothole Trail is on the campground side of the Aramosa River, and the Cedar Ridge Trail is on the other side. 
They're both linear trails, but you can combine them together to do one loop around the uh, Rockwood Reservoir, and that would be about three kilometers. Pothole Trail is incredibly uh, beautiful. It's amazing that this is where it is in Southern Ontario. Um, and then you, you stay low on that trail, and then you continue on and go over the dam on the other side of the river and do the uh, Cedar Ridge Trail. It has a beautiful lookout. Uh, it's amazing that they have these types of uh, trails so close to such a populated area in Southern Ontario. For cell service here, Bell, Telus, Kudo, and Virgin Mobile. Excellent service, LTE+. Plus. I don't have 5G, so I can't tell if it's 5G, but uh, yeah, you should be able to do anything from here if you need to do work meetings or whatever, no problem. Well, it's that time again for Cole's Notes, and we are at Rockwood Conservation Area. It's not something we normally do. Um, we've done Valens in the past, but we've been here actually twice before, and we really enjoyed our time here. So we thought we'd come back again because it's close to home. Yeah, it's only 35 minutes <coughs> from our house, and uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend, as you, as you know. Um, we're ending the season off on a very cold note. It's about uh, six or seven degrees right now. Yes. Um, and this is going to be our last trip of the season, but mm -hmm. don't worry, we got lots more videos to come uh, in the off season. Um, yes. So as far as Rockwood goes, we normally are comparing provincial parks to each other. Yeah. It's kind of different when you do a conservation area because they're not as, as big as provincial parks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This park reminds me of a miniature Bon Echo. If you took Bon Echo and shrunk it down, right down really small, it's like this park because it has the high cliffs. Scarpman and the pictographs. And yeah. It's got great paddling and very scenic hiking. Um, it's not a huge park. Um, there's mini golf, which is fun to do right on site. Mm -hmm. um, there's the pavilion. You can get food and there's an ice cream uh, truck, yeah. but they were closed for the season already. So we missed out on that. In the mill ruins, which were really cool to go through before, but unfortunately it's closed right now. Hopefully they'll get those opened up again. We don't really know if it is going to open up again. Yes, yes. Yeah, but that'd be kind of <laughs> kind of nice to see. And what we really did differently this time, which we can't do at provincial parks, we had full hookups, which was kind of a nice change. So we didn't have to worry about filling up water, going to the dump station and dump. We can do everything. Yeah, especially since since we're going home on a Monday of yeah. a holiday weekend, there's usually a big lineup at the dump station. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about it. Plus, it's our last dump of the season, so we can spend as much time as we want and really clean out the tanks right here at our campsite. So mm -hmm. that's a big plus for us. Yeah, yeah, we got a nice little site at the end of the row. Um, the full hookups, they're all kind of just boom, 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 boom beside each other. Mm -hmm. But... Um, and the campsites here aren't too bad. There's not a lot of privacy anywhere no, you go. No. But that's to be expected uh, at a conservation area. It's yeah. not a real wilderness setting at all. Mm -hmm. um, a couple negatives. Uh, they're not big negatives, but you do always hear the highway, Highway 7, yeah. cars going by. And the odd train tooting by. Yeah, train horn honking. <laughs> We've so, had a lot of that this season, it seems. Yeah. Um, so maybe we're just used to it. And there seems to be a lot of loud cars in Rockwood. People need yeah. to get their exhaust checked because we can hear some loud cars going by. The locals. It's the locals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no uh, vault toilets, just the two comfort stations and the one yeah. at the pavilion. There's no dog. No dog exercise, exercise area at all. Exercise area. Nope. I think Jack still had fun hiking through the trails and oh, yeah. Yeah, exploring everything. Um, for the groups areas, I don't know if we mentioned before, the group areas are just for youth groups. In provincial yes. parks, it's usually for any type of group, but this mm -hmm. is just for youth groups mm -hmm. here. So I probably won't pertain too much to the viewers, but mm -hmm. just to let you know. Yeah. Unless they change that down the road, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For a rating. For a Let's rating. rate this thing. And again, it's hard to rate it, because we normally compare it to provincial parks, mm -hmm. but I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, it right. has so much to do. The hiking and the, the paddling, I think, are what put it over the top for me. It's excellent hiking yeah. and excellent paddling. Yes, yes. Yeah. I enjoy doing that. Um, so what do you think? I'm eight, eight-ish. Eight and a half? Eight, eight and a half. Sure. Let's give it an eight and a half. Okay, that's our <laughs> final rating for this uh, season hurrah, at Rockwood hurrah. Conservation Area. It yes. is an eight yes. and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, we have our PEI trip coming up next.
So the video, we, the videos, yes, <laughs> the videos. we did the PEI trip. We decided to do all our provincial <laughs> park videos first mm -hmm. and then put out the PEI trip, yes. mostly because I'm a bit of a procrastinator and it's yeah. going to be a lot to put together the PEI trip because we just did so much. Yeah, it could be a three, a three video yeah, series. It was a, it was a very we covered uh, a lot there. active trip in PEI. We did the entire island. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Hopefully you're, you're going to like the videos. Mm -hmm. So that's what's coming up next in mm -hmm. two weeks. That's right. So, so stay tuned. We'll see you then. Bye. Happy camping. Bye. There's fishing for carp, bullhead, small and large house. There's fishing for carp, bullhead. <laughs> Stop. Small house. Small house. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't make me laugh. I know, I can't help it. Okay. You and the fishing. This is the best. I always make you do the fishing. <laughs> Fishing for carp, bullhead, small and large house. <laughs> I can't. Large house. What is I'm going on okay. my sunglasses. My eyes are like water. Large mouth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's fishing for carp, bullhead. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Smart enough. Okay. 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 There's fishing for carp, bullhead, small, and large mouth bass. <laughs> Let's take a break for a second. There are canoe and kayak rentals for 22 hours at the beach right behind me. <laughs> 22 oh. hours for 22 <laughs> hours at the beach. <laughs> you can't get that 24 hour rental, just the 22 hour rental. <laughs> no, no okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm making up whole new stories. Oh my God. Twenty-two <laughs> dollars an hour at the beach. There are canoe and kayak rentals for twenty-two top. <laughs> there are canoe and kayak rentals for twenty-two dollars per hour at the beach. There you go.